and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing here something really different of course. This time we are going to be doing an unboxing but for Digimon. So this is something that obviously I rarely do because uh, it's just not as easy to find these particular products. But today I managed to get uh, one of the starter decks. So this is the starter deck Giga Green uh, which is the fourth starter deck. And the thing is this, in the 29th of this month we're going to be getting two more starter decks, so I think it's number 7 and 8. So with that being said, I figure I might as well try to catch up and uh, get what I can right now. But I also managed to get uh, four of the booster bots, well booster sets I guess. Um, this here is BTO5, so this is not the latest one, the latest one just came out a few days ago, but uh, they were just completely sold out because if you didn't pre-order them, they're pretty much all gone. So this is pretty much what I have over here. Uh, it's going to be really fun to open up. Of course, these uh, were pretty pricey, so because of that, I could only get four packs. But I guess that's no big deal. I'm just going to set these aside for now, and we're going to be opening up this uh, particular, uh, I guess, starter deck to see what they actually have inside. So I wish I actually brought a knife with me because... Um, I'm going to have to open it up a different way instead of uh, the tape. So let's just get it right opened. Actually, that's pretty easy to take out. And we'll just grab this. So inside the box is now empty. But inside here, we obviously have the deck itself, which is really nice. And we obviously have our one booster uh, pack over here as well. So this is Great Legend BT04, which was the set that came just before... Uh, Battle of Omni, which is the one that came right after, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's just really great here. We're not getting all of these unnecessary instruction booklets. You could easily read that online, so it just doesn't waste up anything. Uh, it just gives us exactly what we need for the actual uh, game itself. Just the cards and the booster pack, which is absolutely fantastic. And I love that all of the starter decks at least give us one booster pack. Uh, just something really fun to open up, but we're gonna open that later as well So I'll put that aside and we're just gonna see what's inside this particular deck. So let's see Just get that off and let's find out. So we have here Mortimon uh, Four copies of those this would be uh, the white card here and then the rest should be all blue Which would be part of your main deck. So we have Floramon uh, four copies of that we have here our Tentomon, obviously that makes sense uh, that we're getting four of these. Um, interesting to see we're getting Palmon, four copies as well. We have here Kunemon, four copies. We have here Togemon, which would be an evolution. Um, so four copies of that. We have here Kuwagamon, which obviously makes sense why we would get uh, four of those. And then of course we have here our Kabuterimon, which only two of them. Uh, we have Okuwamon, four of those. We have here Lilymon, uh, four of these, which is also an evolution. We have here Omega Kabuterimon, now that is awesome. That looks really nice here. Uh, this one you can tell is special because there is a bit of uh, different foiling here. Uh, so all of these cards you see uncommon. Uh, you might see common with the text there. And this one here is a rare, so you can see it's obviously designed differently. Uh, yeah, just really nice, distinct, um, but it just doesn't stand out as much as uh, what you might expect from other card games. And then, of course, we have another rare here. This is Rosemon. Uh, two copies. I love the full art that they actually went about with this one. It extends beyond the borders, so that is definitely very nice. Um, next up, we have here, wow, Hercules Kabuterimon didn't realize this one even existed as a poke as a Digimon uh, but we get two copies of it this is a super rare really awesome uh, nice to see we're getting two copies of those and then of course we have Izzy uh, where this is also a rare here uh, four copies of these and we have our needle spray which is more so like supporting ability cards electroshocker two copies we obviously have our life counters and um, just behind, I guess, there's like these rules you could actually read for them. So uh, this would be instructions on how you actually play the game. 
which is uh, definitely really smart because you're not wasting time or wasting resources, paper, I guess, making this giant booklet which could easily just be put online, you know? Like, yeah, it's a bit more detailed, but you could easily find that online. What's the point of uh, having it here? So in that case, we have it in the form of cards, which is just easy to store up. And you can just use these cards here as like dividers or something like that. So it's still really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, that was definitely really fun to see this deck here. I'm very excited to try and use it one day. But of course, uh, for the time being, let's just see what else we can actually uh, get out of these packs here. So we have obviously um, five packs to open up, but let's just find out what we have. So firstly, we have Great Legend, which comes in the starter deck itself. So I'm just going to pry that open. Um, I'll do my best not to try and damage the cards, of course. Okay, let's see here. Just trying to be as careful as I possibly can, so forgive me if I'm a bit slow on this. Let's, let's find out. We have here Geo Greymon, very nice. We have here Kudamon. Uh, we have Argumon, nice. Uh, Diatramon. We have Lyolamon. Neo Devimon, very nice. Uh, Tobiomon. We have here uh, Suni Rizamon. Uh, Sunflowmon. We have here Sakutomon, so we've been seeing uncommons in common so far, but now we have our first rare, so this is Chaosmon. Uh, very interesting. And we have another rare, Trident Revolver. So sometimes you could have a chance of getting higher than a rare. You might get a super rare uh, or anything beyond that, but uh, for the time being, I guess this is uh, okay. It just means that uh, you're not as lucky in this case, but that's fine. I mean, we still have four packs left, so... Uh, let's just find out what we actually get in those next following ones. So over here we have our... Let's see here. Just being very careful. I don't want to damage these cards, obviously. Um, so let's see what we have here. We have Starsmon. Well, Starmons. Uh, Musyamon. Monochromon. We have Morishelmon. Uh, McKenny Remon, Powermon again, but a different artwork. We have a uh, Demonic Disaster. We have over here Z Greymon, very nice artwork. Uh, we have Gigimon, and then we have our uh, Super Starmon, followed by our rare, which would be Black War Greymon. Now that looks nice. I love the color scheme of that. Just really awesome, well designed Digimon. And we have, yes, there we go, a super rare. We have Omnimon Zwart. Wow, this looks really good. By the way, the printing of these cards are always just uh, at the highest. It's pretty much at the peak. It's so good. It's so well done. Uh, I'm just really impressed. You know, Digimon just prints their cards in such top quality. You know, I, I really love it. Um, and that's something they never disappoint on. So a fantastic pull there. I can't believe I got Omnimon. I mean, Omnimon is insane, you know. Uh, but with that being said, let's open up the next ones and hope for the best, you know. Because these packs here I bought were just loose packs, so that means that I could have easily got nothing, you know. So to see that I got at least a Super Rare, um, absolutely fantastic. So just pull these out here and uh, put that aside. And of course, let's find out. We have Weedmon, uh, Vajramon, we have Cubimon, very nice, uh, Jessomon, Commandramon, we have Nightmon, Ultimate Flare, wow, Full Arts, Neptunemon, very nice, Absolute Blast, whoa, Bancho Lilymon, <laughs> very interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, Tai Kamiya and Matt Ishida. Uh, a rare character card here. Very nice. Or a Tamer card, that is. And we have another rare, but this is Teriamon Assistant. Alright, so not particularly special in this particular pack. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I love this artwork, by the way. That's amazing. Uh, the Bancho Lilymon. Really awesome. But... Of course, let's move on. We've got two packs left. Let's hope that uh, we get lucky here. All right, 
right, so like I said, I'm being so careful not to damage these packs, or the cards at least. Um, so I just want to make it easy to take out. Very careful there. Uh, Mori Shelmon, Starmons, we have uh, Kuri Sarimon, we have Taumon, Gladimon, Jokamon, wow that's interesting. Supreme Cannon, we have a Blazing Storm of Metal, Kiwimon, wow. Uh, Monitamon, we have your Earth Shaker as our rare, really nice, and of course, wow, Armageddon. Now that is awesome, a super rare Armageddon. I love that, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, another foil, and these are not easy to get, so definitely very happy to see this. That looks phenomenal. I mean, that's yeah, really awesome there. Alright, awesome. So we have one pack left. Let's hope for the best. Um, but we've already done so well with the other ones. Alright, be careful opening these packs, of course. Uh, do whatever you can to not damage the cards. And uh, hopefully it all goes well. Vajramon, we have here uh, Dorbigmon, Deramon, Black Galgamon. We have Marine Devimon, interesting. We have Garurumon, a Rowdy Rocket, we have a Sunamon, Spiral Masquerade, we have Gaomon, oh, another Tamer card, Sora and Joe, very interesting. And a rare Metal Garurumon, which not too bad at all. I mean, I won't complain about that. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty much it for our opening, so I do hope you guys actually enjoyed that. Uh, really proud to see that I was able to pull both the Armageddon and also the Omnimon Zuot. That is fantastic, of course. And uh, finally, the deck itself. Just all absolutely amazing. Love the quality of these cards. Very well printed. Uh, it's just superior to almost every card game in terms of card quality. But uh, with that being said, leave me your thoughts. Are you guys actually playing this particular TCG? I haven't fully invested into it yet, I'm just buying a lot of stuff just to make sure I stay up to date with the latest sets and the latest cards, but uh, that's pretty much the extent of what I'm doing, I haven't even gotten started into playing it yet. However, thanks for joining me today, I hope you all have a fantastic day, I'll see you all next time.